this science activity we call bee buzzers. It's a great activity for kids to actually manipulate their world, ask good questions, and it's a lot of fun. You'll, you'll like this one. It takes simple materials. That's what I like about a lot of these activities, just simple materials you get at any store. It takes a pair of scissors, some just eraser heads we, we buy, these wood craft sticks, some three by five cards, a stapler, and some rubber bands. And a piece of string about two feet long. And you put these together. I have one partially made here I'll show you. This here I just took the three by five card and I just fold it in half, put it over the craft stick and staple it on like that, and tie the string to the end. And you choose some eraser ends here to go on there. And then you put, a, you put the rubber band over the end of the eraser heads and hold it down with your finger. So it uh, fits over there, kind of the paper is through the slot there like that and the strings on the end. And then you're ready to fly your bee buzzer. And always create a flight zone around here so you don't hit anybody. And Every, everyone, all ages love this activity. And you'll, but so nice about this one, the kids could control different variables. So in the tape, you'll, you'll see the kids actually doing this. I cut the hole in the middle and might change the sound. Okay. How did you cut yours? Well, that's a really good experiment because you're you, you change some of the the way it's shaped here. You put I like these little slits you put here. This is really good. You use two erasers and on both ends. And this one, when you spin it, has a different. It, you feel it in the string. This is really clever. You'll notice that the kids had all kinds of ways of changing their world and adjusting their bee buzzers and trying to figure out you know, how they could control their world. And science is asking questions again. A lot of times kids will ask, well, where's the sound coming from? And it's really great for them to experiment with that. So I'll ask you that too. Where is the sound coming from? And uh, one of the kids decided, well, you know, let's, how would you test if the sound's coming from the rubber band? So they decided to take the rubber band off. And we'll see what happens when we take the rubber band off. And that's them just doing another experiment. We'll see what happens with this one here. Yes, so you would assume it's the rubber band. Then we had another kid actually at one of our activities cut the paper all off. He thought, well, maybe it's the paper that's making the sound. We'll see what this one does. Ooh, ooh, made a little bit of a sound, different sound. So they're controlling their world and by controlling those variables. And you'll notice the kids did all kinds of shapes and cutting and that type of thing to make the perfect sound or the best sound. So that's what good science is. Great activity for them to, to ask good questions, do good experiments, and, and to share their information.